Well, I feel that I'm a credible source of information on this particular topic, mostly because I don't, my main interest is to keep the science straight. Uh, I'm not really interested in what the companies are doing. I'm not really interested in what the activists are doing. My goal really is to be a referee. What I want to do is connect what we know about science to what we need to know about growing better, more nutritious food. So my role is really very neutral. I come strictly from an evidence-based standpoint. I follow the science and don't worry too much about what people think and feel. And it really gives me a contrast versus the people who are the activists. Um, the activists that are in many cases funded by anti-GM interests. And also a lot of the key activists who are really making a living selling books or selling documentaries and they have to keep people scared and suspicious of good technology. Uh, read the scientific literature. Stay away from activist websites. Stay away from somebody who's trying to sell you a book or a documentary. Um, their existence depends upon keeping you scared. Um, science is a beautiful and elegant thing, and we can use this to understand our natural world better. This kind of technology is really just an extension of that. And there are plenty of well-meaning scientists out there who really are excited to help you understand uh, how this technology works and its potential benefits and risks. Thank you.